If you're not getting the views or the clicks that you would like to see with your YouTube videos, one of the most important areas to begin looking at is your thumbnails. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a nine step process that I use myself to help you create great looking thumbnails every single time. Keep watching. Hey, Mike Blissett here, founder of Speak Like a Pro Online, sharing ideas, tools, and techniques to help you speak with more confidence, make better videos, and grow your business. On this channel, you see book review, tech, and how-to videos, just like this one. So if you're enjoying the video, remember, give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get to know next time I upload new content. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my nine step process, the one that I use every single time to create thumbnails for my YouTube channel, for my online courses, and also for my client videos as well. And the reason I'm starting with thumbnail design is because, well, that's your first point of contact with your future potential viewer. And if, unless it's professional looking and engaging and interesting enough, then well, chances are they're probably just going to carry on scrolling through their YouTube feed. And latest research suggests that about 80% of people now watch YouTube videos on their smartphone. So what that means for you is that your thumbnail is going to be this big, it's going to be really small, and so whatever you put in it, however you present it, it really does need to leap out of that smartphone YouTube feed page and tell that future viewer, click me, watch me, this is the one for you only every single time. So, this nice step process, let's jump in. Step number one is to remember to take some pictures either just before or just after you have recorded your video. And the reason for that is that you're probably going to be in the same gear, the same clothes, you're going to be looking the same way, probably the same hair, and you're going to be in the same zone, either having just recorded or about to record your video. And so when somebody sees that image in your thumbnail, they can make a call on it, whether it's something that is interesting for them and whether they will click on it or not. So it's really important to take those pictures. I took a bunch of them just before I filmed this video as well uh, so that I can then create an image for this video. Step number two is to decide if you are going to use the natural background of your image. You can see I'm at home now and I've got some pictures and plants in the background here. Or if you want to remove that uh, background and just use the image of you. If you do, there is some free software that you can use to do that and it's a really uh, great quality image as well. So the website is called remove.bg and I'll leave the link just below this video so you can check that out afterwards. So remove.bg, you just put that in your uh, browser and, and you go there, you just click upload image and then it asks you for some reason again, and then you find the image that you've stored on your computer or one of the pictures you've taken, and you can see it automatically removes the background. So here's the original, the one that I'm gonna use here, and then to remove the background, you just click remove background, and guess what, it's gone. And you can see the lines around the image of me are, are pretty clear, and that checkered background just means that it's a transparent background. So if you want to, Download the HD version, maybe for an ebook or a poster, you would subscribe for that. Um, but if you want the free version, um, just for a, a YouTube thumbnail, just click download and that's the, uh, the standard quality version. And you can see now it's the image of me, it's all clean around the sides. Just to say the dark gray background is transparent. Step number three is to choose which software program you're going to use to create your thumbnail. So, there are some free options that are probably going to be on your computer anyway, and equally there's some more on the internet if you don't have them. So if you've got a PC, uh, then you can use programs like PowerPoint and uh, Word uh, to create your thumbnail slides on. And if you're on a Mac like me, uh, the Mac version of PowerPoint and Word are Keynote and also Pages. And I have created literally hundreds of thumbnails for myself, for my website, my courses, for my clients using Keynote through the years. However, there is some free software online. I use Canva, 
I use this a lot over the last year or so and you can see there's lots of different kinds of templates here from everything from YouTube channel art, website, infographic, flyers, worksheets, all the rest of it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put in the search bar uh, YouTube thumbnail. You can see it's already there because I use this one a lot every week. So YouTube thumbnail and you can see there's lots of different options there as well but as I say we're going to use thumbnail because really the dimensions will be the correct dimensions for uh, YouTube to accept as your thumbnail. You can see there's lots of different designs here and you can just you can use any of these for free. You can put your own images on there and change the, uh, the graphics, the boxes, the colors, the, the titles obviously, the font sizes. I mean they're just really really uh, they're just meant to start your imagination flowing. What I'm going to do with this video is to start with a blank document. And just to say, if you are enjoying this video, if you're getting value from it, then remember to hit the like button. And if it's your first time here, also hit the subscribe and notification bell so you get to know next time I upload a new video. So step number five is to upload your picture. So you just click on the left hand toolbar upload and upload media and you can see you can upload it from Facebook or Instagram, Dropbox, wherever it is on if it's stored there. Equally I've saved my picture on my computer so let's go to probably uh, there we go downloads and you remember I downloaded it from remove.bg so I click the image and it imports pretty darn quickly depending on how quick the internet is working today. Perfect. And then just click on that and it will appear in the, there we go, in the main panel. And you can see now it's not a black background anymore because it was always meant to be transparent. So now you can see it's just a white background but it's a sharp image of me. So you can drag it around, you can make the image bigger or smaller, whatever you want to do with the little lines or bubbles on the, on each corner as well and just get the size and initial position. I'm sure we're going to move this around as we go through that as well. Okay step number six is to uh, to begin adding a text box on the title. So just click elements and you can see there are some free options here and you can use them equally. There are some options here that have um, a crown on them and when you hover over the crown it says pro that just means that it's the paid for version you'd need to subscribe to be able to use those images but there's so many images there if you just want the free version and all right so one of the ideas that I like to use is something called brush so it's basically a brush stroke and you can see there's lots and lots of ideas of brush strokes and wavy lines that are Hope, um, probably made by brushes here as well. You can see there's, there's crowns against some of them so they're the paid for versions you need to uh, subscribe for that um, but there's lots of free ones as well so I'm going to choose one let's find one to choose probably that one okay great so I'm not sure about the color but or the size but we can change all that so let's just drag that corner and make it bigger that's good. So we're going to put some text on this in a moment so let's just make that a little bit bigger and you can see now it's in front of uh, me so again just click uh, where it says position at the top there click forward and it brings my image forward so now I'm in front of this uh, image of the brush strokes that I just imported. Okay Right, so I think we'll probably change that color. So just highlight that and you can see there's a box at the top of the screen. It's got the color in it. It's just, you can play with the color. So let's make it red for now. Might change as we go along and see how it all fits together. All right, so then we need to put some text on it. So then you, on the left hand uh, toolbar, click text. So uh, let's look uh, to see which one uh, works. And you can see there's lots of different uh, ideas here and m I think most of these are free actually. And of course you can change the words, you can change the colors and, and the size of, of it as well. Uh, let's use this one, level up. Looks pretty cool. Wrong color, wrong words obviously. But uh, let's say, you can see at the top of the screen it says uh, this is the font HK modular and it's 138 size font. So let's make that smaller, let's make that 50 and equally let's just double click over the word up 
and make that a smaller. It's 250 at the moment, like way too big. Let's make it 100. Okay, so already it's a better size. Okay, so let's start putting the uh, the name in of the uh, the thumbnail. Now it doesn't have to be the exact name of your uh, video because you don't have enough space for that, but you can just put the keywords in that uh, is gonna encourage people to click. So I'm gonna use this thumbnail tutorial. I might change that a little bit in a while, just see how, how it all fits together. Let's make a tutorial a little bit smaller and that's 50 as well now. And then equally drag that box and make that a little bit smaller, perfect. That's good. Okay, so now you can see we're starting to create this, uh, this what will be a thumbnail. And um, now it's about playing around with the sizes and the dimensions and the colors and the fonts and all the rest of it. And if you're thinking, well, this is actually spending a lot of time playing around creating a thumbnail, you are right, it's spending a lot of time doing this, but actually this is quality time. One thing I've learned from working with some really successful YouTubers through the years is that they spend as much time sometimes on the thumbnail as they do on the creation of the video. Yes, creating the video is, is absolutely important. Yes, researching it is important, but actually thumbnail is not an afterthought that comes later. The thumbnail is so important because that will decide if people will click on that or not. All right, so let's change the color of some of this. Um, there we go, let's change the background. So yellow, I'm not sure if yellow works, but it's, it's something to play with at the moment. Let's change the color of thumbnail. Let's, uh, let's make it maybe red, maybe blue, dark blue, I think red. Okay, I'm not sure the red works with the yellow, but it's something that we can, um, we can change. Yeah, maybe black is a little bit better. It's not deep black, but it's kind of, it's, it, it stands out a little bit better on the, um, on this yellow brushstroke background. Let's change tutorial. Okay, let's, yeah, let's try red with that one. Okay, so we've got something to work with here. All right, so let's change the uh, let's let's change the color of this uh, background because yellow is is kind of very yellow. Let's change it to something um, yeah, black. I think black is probably a, a stronger color. It'll make the the words on the thumbnail pop uh, more because it's just a darker color. And so I'm still not sure about this uh, yellow or the red, but you know we're, we're working with it. That's good. Okay, then we move on to step number seven, and this is where you can add additional graphics. So you can add logos and, and different kind of pictures. I'm gonna look for a YouTube logo here, and I know there are a lot on uh, Canva, and some of them actually, quite a lot of these, you can see have the crown on, it means they're the paid pro version, so you'd have to subscribe to get those, but equally, there's quite a few uh, free versions as well, free logos, free designs. And uh, there's certainly enough to, to go along with to use one, to find one that works on your thumbnail. So now you can see that thumbnail and tutorial um, are highlighted by the black uh, brush strokes and YouTube, I think the image looks really great. So then we need to find a background because at the moment you can see it's transparent, it's white. So we need to look for something. You can see there's lots of images on here. You just click background and you can find lots. There's a, there's a, a white brick wall. I like that. I've never used it, but I kind of like it. Um, flames, another one I really like. I've never really used it yet. This one's kind of interesting. Little 3D kind of uh, background going on there. Now this one, uh, this artistic one, I've never used and I'm trying to find a way to use it because I think it's really, really good. But as I say, I haven't used it yet. Something very neutral going on there. Um, let's try this, uh, I think it's a wood effect. There we go. Okay, this is kind of interesting. I think we can work with that. So once you're happy with the thumbnail that you've created and everything's in the right place and the right size, then uh, step number eight is to download it and save it to your computer. So just hit the download button and it saves automatically to the downloads folder in wherever it is on your computer. And then you can upload it to your YouTube 
uh, channels. Say you would be in your YouTube studio and here's a, here's a video you probably saw a few of mine a few weeks ago, film like a pro. So there's the video there, there's the copy there underneath there with the show notes and any links. And then just underneath this box, it's got thumbnail. Now you can see YouTube just randomly selects three uh, screenshots of your video that you can use for thumbnails, but in my experience, they tend to be uh, mid blink or, or mid smile. They're just weird. So that's why I think it's a really good idea to upload your own thumbnail, just so that it creates the impact and looks professional and just promotes what you want it to do. So you would click that and just click upload and then it would find the file and you click on that, click choose and it would uh, save that thumbnail so that when you publish your video, the thumbnail is there on your YouTube channel. And that's my nine step process to help you create professional, engaging and interesting looking thumbnails that just encourage your future potential viewer to click on that thumbnail and watch your video. Now, I did mention a few minutes ago about editing your video. Of course, you would need to edit your video to upload to YouTube. And if you want to watch a tutorial video, an intro video into one of the software programs I use to edit my uh, YouTube videos, it's called ScreenFlow for Mac, then click the link at the top of the screen or equally all the links that I've mentioned today, remove.bg and equally uh, the ScreenFlow for Mac video, you'll find all those links in the show notes immediately below this video. And if you want to dive even deeper and watch some free training that I put together to help you create great looking YouTube videos, then click that link immediately below this video and you can watch that now. If you have enjoyed this video, remember give it a thumbs up. If it's been your first time here, thanks for sticking around. Remember hit the subscribe button and the notification bell before you leave so you get to know next time I upload some fresh content. Remember, this channel is all about sharing ideas, tools and techniques to help you speak with more confidence, make better videos and grow your business. I'm Mike Blissett. Take care.